Hello, sorry for the wind sounds. I live in Alberta. So this is what I'm going to be replacing. It's um, a very fine piece of Need It Right Now engineering. I built it out of a door hinge and some scraps that were laying around the shop. And uh, though it works actually pretty good, I don't want to reproduce that thing every single time I install a NAG Open GPS. I've already got the uh, PETG um, main gear installed. This is my first version. You can tell by the extra gust that it's not needed, except I, I left it on because I want to check tooth wear and how you leave it on a long time is you leave it on a really long time. But as you can see over here, the only places it's touching would be the pads where it is. Um, I know some of you have had concerns about, oh, zip ties won't hold it. So like if I grab onto this thing, uh, here, here I can yeah, so I'm rocking the whole tractor just from the steering column, just from that gear, and uh, it don't move. So it's basically like in, in round. It, it doesn't deflect that much. I think any deflection is just the um, uh, 3D printing being a little out of whack. Uh, I've had this uh, on. I mow with it. I uh, do general chores with it. It's just my little runaround tractor. You can see down there is the AOG guidance box. Um, any rate, love it. If we check tooth wear here, not too bad. The TPU here, it's a lot softer than the PETG and uh, neither one of them really looks like it's doing too much. Like these never come uncoupled. I've done the modification that allows it to freewheel and uh, I'm pretty happy with these overall. I sprayed them up with some silicone uh, dry lube and uh, yeah, I have not touched them since. So pretty good. I really liked um, mass design with the, uh, um, the herringbone gears. Uh, they self-center, this doesn't need a set screw. So when this comes off, I can just pull this off and no tools required on that. I had one little issue that I've already resolved where the big heads of the um, zip ties kind of stick out a little too far. So I've made undercuts in the new version so that those get hidden. And uh, I do like the, um, the double zip tie, like it is impressively strong. I use the brand name T&B uh, electrician quality ones and they seem to work pretty good and then when you're putting that on you can see how the zip tie it's it comes back underneath because if you have them like this it's it's not going to hold it you got to have it so it wraps around each side to get it to, to hold really tight but the big news is is this sucker is going and it's getting replaced by this sucker right here, which um, is now I think like my fourth revision of this. The last one was a dismal failure. It had four bolts and it couldn't handle like the sideways torque. It was all over the place. So now I got a three bolt design, which makes it a little cheaper. And then it handles that torque, I think. So I better get her popped on and uh, then I will uh, see how this works.